Ron here. I was cleaning up around the house and I found this really cool flashlight, the old Polaroid Polapulse flashlight. It was an extraordinarily thin design, very futuristic. It had a single uh, big recess button in the center. You just press it to get your light. Uh, this was about uh, 1997 when we got these guys and uh, it is currently dead and I've been examining it because I really like this guy and it had screws in the back. It's like how many throwaway devices do you know that have actually screws in the back? I took it apart and it's got one of the early flat batteries in it. Uh, very very thin form factor on this guy. It's really brilliant design. Very simplistic. Uh, it's an incandescent bulb. I thought it was LED but it's only incandescent and it just has the wires hanging off uh, between this plastic divider and the contacts of the battery back here just bridge the gap between the negative and positive uh, parts of the battery between the lamp and the the on button. So this is extremely clever. Very very simplistic. Really cool. So with this tiny battery uh, it's supposed to be a 6 volter. It's no longer operational. Uh, when I measure the voltage on this guy, it's coming in at 5.87. It still has a little surface charge on it, but not enough to light an incandescent bulb. So let me use one of my little LEDs here, just a normal little LED I use for experimentation. Let me orient this the right way and just bridge this gap. And uh, if this were a LED light, it would still be still be functional. So there's enough juice in there to light an LED which doesn't take much energy. Uh, I'd like to see if I can recharge this guy. I just found this and had the idea. Uh, I'll use, uh, I don't know if I should use my Bedini, it might be a little big, but I need to use a pulsing circuit uh, to recharge this alkaline type battery. Uh, if I try traditional charging of course it would ruin it, it would heat up and burst. So uh, a pulsing circuit that has uh, all voltage and no amperage, uh, a cold electricity, would work great for recharging this if it's still viable. I think it is. So it's very well made. So I'm going to pull out an Imhotep uh, radiant charger coil or see if I can't uh, uh, get something smaller than my Bedini to try recharging this. and I'll get back to you. I want to find out if I can recharge this with a pulsing cold electricity circuit. Okay, it's later in the day and I'm going to try to uh, recharge my uh, battery for this uh, flashlight. Let me take a real close look here and press the button. It has a tiny bit of energy in it. It can glow just very slightly. Uh, I've decided to use the Imhotep relay charger circuit to recharge this battery with. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, I have another video called uh, Auto Relay Charges My 9 Volt Batteries. And uh, this is the automobile relay that's been slightly modified. I'm going to use the electromagnetic flyback from this tiny coil to uh, recharge the uh, battery in that flashlight. And I know this looks like a real mess, but uh, it's the way it is down here. Uh, just to recap quickly, that uh, automobile relay charger, it's called Imhotep Relay Charger Circuit. And it's an automobile relay uh, in which when the power source uh, or battery is connected, uh, the circuit is complete and energizes the electromagnet, which pulls the flapper, the electrical contact, away and that lets an electromagnetic flyback surge go in a different direction. So this little flapper is constantly being uh, pulled away, buzzing away and uh, just pure voltage is going this way. Uh, it's cold electricity, it's all voltage, no amperage, which makes it great for recharging batteries that weren't really meant to be recharged. So uh, let me take this battery out of here. Two contacts on the back. Going to connect it up here. 
one set of contacts is coming from the radiant charger. The other set of contacts is going to my uh, meter. And let's see. The meter says uh, 5.9 volts right now. It's a bit weak. It was able to uh, light that incandescent light just briefly. Uh, I'm powering my relay charger, the automobile relay, with, uh, with the wall socket today, giving it a full 12 volts. I'm going to plug that in now. The relay is working. You can hear it buzzing. And the voltage goes up immediately on the battery being recharged. Now again, uh, don't try plugging a battery like this into a normal battery charger. It would heat up and might possibly pop on you. This is cold electricity. It's electromagnetic flyback only. There's no amperage, so there will be no heat to that battery. Well, it's operating really fast. All right, I'm going to stop right there. It's only been a few seconds. Let me take this off. Take the leads off and put it back in the flashlight. And yeah, this is going to work. This is going to recharge. So let me do this for a while and I'll get back to you. It's been about an hour. I'm checking back on my battery. It's been accepting energy. The uh, surface voltage on the battery is 7.41. Still charging away after an hour. I think it's time to stop for today. As a matter of fact, let me uh, zoom in on the meter for a second. I'm going to unplug this guy. I'm interested to see how fast the uh, energy falls away. How much it actually uh, took in is still a question mark. Uh, the real question is, after a couple of days, how much energy stayed with the battery, you know. We'll check that later. Oh, very nice. Energy is falling very, very slowly. That's a very good sign. It's taking a very long time to fall. So let me disconnect this guy. Stick it in the flashlight for a second. I'll probably do a couple more of these sessions. I'll let this sit for a day, then uh, charge it for another hour. Uh, excuse me a second. I'll reach around here and grab the flashlight. Let's see if I'm zoomed out here. There we go. Got the flashlight, and uh, I'm always struck by the fact that the when I use a uh, cold electricity, a pulsing circuit like this to charge these batteries up. Uh, I'm always struck with the fact that they feel cold to the touch when I'm done. There's no heat involved with this process at all. There is no amperage. It's all voltage. Please do not try to <laughs> put one of these uh, straight onto a normal charger. It would not end well. Oh yeah, that's going to work great. See how bright that flashlight is. Nice. Oh yeah, that's going to work fantastic. I'll give it just a couple more treatments to make sure it's uh, holding energy and I'll wait a couple of days. Test it out again. But yeah, this looks really good. Looks like I got my flashlight back. Super.